Finally! Yes! Avengers, assemble! He's trying to sweep up leaves in this world. And another one! <laughs>
currently in use. I could vault it. That would probably raise a few eyebrows. Whoa, the chat's going off. Sorry, guys. <laughs> James, uh, thank you for watching Colin's video, man. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was a bit of fun. It was a bit of fun. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's excellent stuff on uh, 9 9. Oh, that sucks, James, that your friend from last year's ditched you. But, new classmate, uh, you've got new potential friends everywhere in your new class. Keep your eyes peeled, James. Your new next best friend could be just around that corner at school, man. Who are they waiting for? Oh, mission story. Let's go listen to the mission story. Not to mention headbutting an internal Hopefully the mission story gives us something good. Here we go. Can I blend in? Yeah, here we go. Blend in. I love a good blend in near a mission story eavesdropping. Look at this in 4K. Oh, a reminder, the stream is available 60 frames a second, 4K. You can be enjoying uh, Hitman at its native 4K resolution. Granted, the bit rate's uh, a little bit more compressed, but still, it's 4K. You know, it's awesome. Uh, Distinct. How you doing? Welcome. Hey, thank you very much, Distinct. I appreciate the compliment, sir. Thank you. Charlie, the game is awesome. I love it. I'm a big... Uh, Hitman fan, and it's more Hitman. Uh, as I was saying in a previous stream, you can see them starting to evolve beyond Hitman. They've got, like, a murder mystery, and then one of the levels, they didn't do any mission stories, and you've just got to, like, listen. It's, they're really changing some of the gameplay mechanics. I'm really glad they're walking away from the franchise at this point. It's phenomenal. It's the best Hitman, but you can see the developers. Their skill has evolved beyond it, and they're just dying to break out and do something new. So more power to them. Uh, end of the world of assassination, which is kind of sad, but a fantastic trilogy. So I'm over the moon about it. The only sad thing is it's finishing, but we know they're moving on to like do a Bond game next. So it's going to be amazing. I'm excited. All right. Disguise myself as that bloke. And this bloke already knows to be sus on me. I'm assuming there's a narrative reason for that. Normally the target doesn't know... Uh, to be suspicious of you, and it, it, it gives you a lot more freedom in the way in which you take him out. So because he would spot me, because he would know who I was if I was standing in front of him, I'm forced to attack him from behind. But obviously, I need to find a moment behind him when we don't have another guest present. This guy has a ridiculous moustache in his mugshot as well, so I'm hopeful that the... Uh, I'm hopeful that the ridiculous moustache is transferable to Mr. Hitman47 himself. Look at that little Mo Goaty combo. I hope that comes straight off and Hitman puts it on. I have no idea how I'm going to peel this guy away from the back. Hey, mister. Who are you? <laughs> Yeah, that sounds crazy, James. Oh, uh, he does not like me. I should really walk away from him. <laughs> oh, where's he running off to? I am going to have to load. I will have to load an autosave because nothing of note had really happened yet. All right, well, we know that bloke's going to turn on me and we know he's going to go to the top of the party. So we can jump two steps and head straight. Oh, we're going to have to listen to him reveal the story mission, but then we'll... We know we can run straight up the stairs. So all I need to do here is grab this coin and then we'll move on. We'll do the blend in here and then we'll run up the stairs ahead of him. Now I'm going to listen a bit closely this time. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this bloke when I become him. That almost sounds like uh, Jason Stratham. I'm sure it isn't, but it almost sounds like him. Have a drink, I'm under half. Don't drink. Makes me sentimental. Yeah, that is so crazy, James. Uh, I'm sorry to hear it, man, but 
the best thing you can do is just ignore it and move on with your life. Like, it totally sucks, and I get it. It Like, it burns, and that'll hurt for a bit. But honestly, the best thing to do is just move on, buddy. It's the best advice I can offer. Move on quickly, find a new group of friends, and uh, just forget about them. Best course forward. All right. Now, I can't even see, like... Normally there'd be, oh, he's going to, oh, here we go. Maybe he's going to come to this table. Maybe I want to be a wait staff. <clears throat> Maybe if I'm a waiter, he won't recognize me and I'll get a chance to poison his food. What I'm hoping now for is a waiter off by himself somewhere. This is a really open level and it looks cool, but there are a lot of people in a lot of open areas. Like it's not... There's not a lot of obvious spots to be taking people out, but 4K60 looks absolutely phenomenal. Like just then, like running through the crowd, you can see I can pan the camera. There's no chop whatsoever. That is silky smooth. I'm very excited. It, uh, it's noticeably visually more impressive on the Xbox than it is the PlayStation 5. <clears throat> I'm not sure if that'll be as apparent on stream. As I said, there's... 4K is available, but obviously it's not the main way people are consuming the stream. At least I don't think it is. I still can't work out if there's somewhere to get good analytics on that. I certainly can't find anywhere in YouTube analytics land to work out how many people are watching the 4K. But I've asked a few times for people to let me know if they are watching in 4K and no one said a thing. Can I just push this guy over the edge? Here's my chance. I need somewhere to hide a body, though. I definitely should have saved before I did that. That was silly. Let's hope we're far enough away. Man, I would love a box here somewhere to... Can I leave him parked on the bench, Weekend at Bernie's style? All right, I'll disguise as him, and I'll do a quick recce to see if there's somewhere where I can dump a body, but honestly, I think I'm just going to have to leave his body there and uh, accept that that body's going to be found at some point. I certainly don't want to get busted near the body. The disguise will be blown. <gasps> There's long reeds there. Can I drag him into some long reeds? Is there an entrance? There's an entrance there into the long reeds. Is there a second entrance? Because that one feels very exposed. Oh, I'll try it. I'll do a save first, though. I, I don't fancy my chances of getting this body in that long grass without it saying, um, you know, crime noticed, body found. But we'll give it a shot. I didn't even realize the reeds, you see. I was so hell-bent on looking for a, um, a box to put them in. Normally, you hide them in a box. But look at that. We got away with it. That's a thing of beauty. All right. Now, there's no ding to our score. And I saw before, if we run across here, there was a stairwell back to the foyer. We could have gone the way we came, but I think, uh, I think we're a little bit quicker if we go across the top floor here. We can cut diagonally across the space. Hi, whatever. Once again, hopefully Google isn't slapping me around for copyright strike. That wouldn't be ideal. Oh, and I should definitely do a save. Great time to save. Nothing uh, has gone wrong. We got the unnoticed kill and uh, we've hidden the body, so we're in fine form at the minute. I'm not sure if Mr. Black is a Simpsons reference, but I, it makes the name makes me think of that VHS dub where, what is it, your camp instructor, Camp Krusty, your camp instructor is Mr. Black. <laughs> uh, okay, where are the other guests? Downstairs? Is there a staircase over here, or was it uh, around the side of the building? Might have been in through the building and down, I guess. Maybe where we went up last time to the garden. Is there also a down there? I didn't notice a downstairs. No, that's only up. Ah, the downstairs is right next to the upstairs. Who would have thought? Now that's saying do not enter, but I'm a guest. So, oh, okay. Do not enter. Really do not enter. We'll go this way, shall we? Down the main staircase? Why not? I'm doing well. <laughs> Yeah, man, uh, I wouldn't, uh, if people were doing that to me and claiming it was a joke, I would just distance myself from them naturally, mate. You don't need friends like that. It's the old with, uh, what is it, with enemies like these? No, with friends like these, who needs enemies? 
You get to choose your friends, mate. They sound like you should be picking someone else. Man, I have no idea how we're supposed to get downstairs outside to that party. You would think they would have, uh, the front desk would have given me an escort. A guide? Or am I just getting really lazy? <laughs> you mean I have to work out a path for myself? Oh, give me the answer. <laughs> Here we go. I think we're onto it. Uh, this looks like a downstairs. Here we go. Oh, and that might be someone if we need to. If we need to slip it into a tuxedo at some point, we'll remember. Oh, there's the cinema. We were so close. We just didn't have that clear out of access. Oh, look at that staircase right from the main lobby. Man, am I a goose? Totally missed that one. Swing and a miss. Hey, look, here's Diana. Does, is Diana going to uh, indicate that she knows me? Or in this world, does Diana not recognise me when I'm in disguise? He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems, except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Oh, no, they know each other. So we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. Atta boy. We try and bring him back in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I in trouble for going into the area where they sent me? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, was Diana like wink, wink, nudge, nudge, go switch clothes? <gasps> I didn't realise we were meant to switch outfits. Now, is that a hide a body box? It is. Oh, there's one down there. Oh, there's two workers, though. I'm like, if there's one worker by himself... Let's do a quick save, shall we? We're, 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 we are where we shouldn't be. Quick save. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The young episode with them eating the chicken was great. Absolutely great. It's a classic backstory. I really liked it. Now, can I get... No, nope, that was a bad idea. Let's, uh, let's try that again without the oops. Or whoops. Oh, I will note, though, uh, the change. It looks better running on the PS5, but it certainly loads faster on the PS5. Sorry, it looks better running on the Xbox Series X native 4K, but it loads. I'm going to say it feels like it loads in almost half the time on the PlayStation 5 when I do my little save scummy bits. Can I just distract them with a coin toss or something? Surely there's going to be one guard or gardener just loosely by themselves with their back turned. Usually the developers, are, yeah, tuck one away. Look at this. Here we go. Look at this. Is that one person or two? He's asleep and everything. Perfect. All right, let's uh, let's drag him. Let's hope we can just get up towards this box here without anybody stumbling across our path oh that's not good that's not good we won't go, we won't go with that option oh did i miss it did i go one too far already one too far already oh <laughs> Sounds like you had a really rough day, James. I'm sorry to hear it, man. Now, can we get this bloke from the back? All right. Now, I could risk not dumping his body, but I really don't want to take the dink to my score. I just hope that no one from the party sees me here. Why can't I dump? Oh, there it is. And quickly get changed. Quickly get changed. The skies. Did we make it? Oh, so close. Yes, we made it. All right. Let's save that. Ooh, that was, I reckon, old mate here, just here, this bloke. I reckon he was just turning around. If you heard the audio cue, that whoosh sound, means someone started to look in your direction, uh, and it was that bloke. We only just got away with that, I reckon. Seconds away from discovery, but we made it. 
Now, I always worry when uh, this many people know who I am in an area. Feels like I've got the wrong costume. What are we supposed to be doing? Harvest three ripe grapevine to the red. I'm here. I need to be, what, the top pointy end? The bit not near the staircase. I guess it's the bit to the left out here, I'm assuming. This is like one of those weird things. Like, I'm surprised this is in a Hitman game. Like, it's fun and it's good because they've given me a story mission. But um, I get sus on the development design choices. Like, I can't work out whether it's it's more an application for the James Bond game than a, you know, Hitman 3 game, if you know what I'm saying. Come on, we need some more ripe grapes. I didn't see whether there was a icon for them. Can I just steal some out of the... No, I thought maybe I could just grab some. <laughs> Ryan, that is a crazy offer, my friend. That is a strange thing to offer. I'll pass, though. Thank you. Good on you, James. Good work, my friend. Thank you. Oh, look, here we go. Grapevine 2. Oh, what is with these disconnections from the server? I'm not having any YouTube issues. I think these are just straight up uh, Hitman server issues. But I would go so far as to say either the, the, the backend servers are having more trouble today than previously. Today's the first day I'm playing it on uh, Xbox. And I've noticed a lot of disconnects today. So I don't know whether it's an Xbox specific thing or whether the Hitman servers today have been uh, in particular trouble. But that disconnect sign is certainly showing up a lot more than I would expect based on previous play experience in the PlayStation 5. Version of the game, obviously. is the Xbox version of the game and that's where I think the differences are coming from. Man, a lot of people knew who I was in the other field that I shouldn't have been there, but it looks like this uniform's good for over here. I have the three grapes you requested. Oh, it's this bloke with the mustache from the photo before. That guy had the really cool mustache. What did I get the wrong? Did I get them from the wrong field? Is that what he's saying? So he didn't like the first two, but he liked the third, I think. <laughs> Good on you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you for modding. I really appreciate the work you guys do in the chat. Thank you very much. So I'm meant to disguise myself. Oh, no, Carlo Black. So that's the uniform I left on the ground over here. Uh, disguise this one, and then I just jump the fence, and we're good. All right. We'll go over here, and we can continue our tour of the winery, looking for our opportunity to assassinate uh, the woman there in red. Diana's the woman in blue. She's my uh, my saviour for, for this whole trilogy, this whole Hitman trilogy. She is the main woman. I do apologize <laughs> you look a lot like the guy who's picking the grapes. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, Chief Wanmaker. And I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I... <laughs> That's the spirit. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. Diana saying lead the way makes me think I should lead the way. I'm so used to her being the voice sort of in our head during the mission, giving us instruction. We insist on steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit, a 
Thus, no least, a trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Bond? Follow me, please. <laughs> Somehow I don't know if I'm meant to interrupt the tour. Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. Certainly is that. Okay. Is that a fuse? The fuse cell. There was a fuse cell we needed in another room. Oh, here we go. Look at this. I just added on my way past. What happens if I turn this now? Oh, I should have saved first. That was a mistake. Whoopsie. Meant to do that when no one's... Oh, wait, was there a better autosave? There was indeed. Look at that. <laughs> I just need to be a whisker more patient on turning that switch. I think that uh, may in fact be uh, a kill opportunity. I just think I did it uh, in the wrong order. Oh, very interesting. Fascinating, in fact. Going to see if I can't maybe turn this on before they get there for the win. Ahaha! There we go. Do it early. Do it before they get there. This will be interesting. I don't know who's about to die, but we've, <laughs> we've triggered a trap. Or unless... I don't know if I was meant to do something further on. I'm... I think I've set a trap somewhere. Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium. The wine goes to its primary stage of fermentation. These big open tanks, these first. You and I both, Sean. We don't need the spam. I wish I would have done my inbox. I can't believe after all these years of emails, spam in email is still the problem that is today. It blows my mind. I, by chance, clicked on my uh, junk items folder and there was some ungodly number of junk items sitting in there. You know, it auto-clears itself after 30 days. It was over a 1,000 messages in the spam folder from within the last 30 days. It's just crazy. Well, let's go over this way because I think I've triggered a trap. What can you tell me about this device? Great presser, was it? That is correct, senor. After primary fermentation, the mass is pressed. Can I? Like I've... Oh, look here. Missing screwdriver. Dang. Of everything I've picked up, I can't believe I missed the screwdriver. You are most welcome to try. Imagine you're a grape. I hope you have a better day at school tomorrow as well, James. Oh man, can I just push the button and squash her? If only Diana wasn't in there. May I see that, Mr. Vargas? I believe I blinked. Is she going to delete it? Oh, there, she's distracting him. <laughs> Accidental kill, the body's hidden, nobody saw it. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That was absolutely perfect. The assist from Diana. Man, that was gold. That was absolutely gold. That is the developers nailing an interaction. That was absolute hitman perfection. That was great. Gold. They, this game is bordering on a 10, and it's moments like that that are helping it score. That was just great. That unfolded beautifully. I'm totally surprised by that interaction. I hope putting that fuse in helped. I have no idea whether putting that fuse in helped. I love also that he hasn't noticed we're missing one of our tour guests. <laughs> He's no clue. Oh, we're suddenly down a guest. The most expensive in existence. The 
<laughs> oh, here we go. Is this target number two? <gasps> Man, I hope we're going to get to poison him in an equally cool way. There's wine bottles. Do I have any poison? I don't think I've seen any poison yet. No poison. Keep our eyes peeled for poison. Oh, camera's gone. I'm onto it. I believe it or not, I saw that out the corner of my eye. It flashed. Of course, then I'll find out it was down for five minutes and I didn't see a flash at all. <laughs> oh, Fast and the Furious, me. Huge fan. I love it, Charlie. I absolutely love it. Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done. Oh, again with the disconnects. What is going on? too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. <laughs> Almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin. That sounds like a poisoning opportunity if ever I heard one. Got it, Chief. Follow that dude and poison the wine. That's what I'm hearing. I'll do a quick save because I'm not sure if uh, I was dismissed in a way that I can follow this guy. So I'll just save just in case me following him uh, is going to end up in a big red flag being triggered. Am I going to be able to follow this guy through or should I just maybe take him out? Oh, there's nowhere to hide his body and there's that bloke watching. <laughs> they're, they're making a big deal about how good this wine is. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point for the squash kill, James. They definitely could have. I'm judging from Yates's choice of wine, some type of celebration. Likely a oh, I bet that over the top was the fuse thing. Yates on his upcoming promotion. Diana's presence, a calculated risk. Ooh, let's hope Diana doesn't drink the wine. Ooh, that's risky. That is risky. I wonder if I can slip her some sort of note in some way if I could indicate to her that, um, you know, <laughs> don't join in the toast. Where's, I don't even know where a door is into where that bloke's standing. Up that staircase? No? There's no access point. I like that I can just walk around. Oh, is that a door right there? Here's me saying no access point and that's a door. It is a door, but it doesn't open. Oh, wait, it's got the camera icon. Is that to say that if I do some of this, is there a panel somewhere I can hit? The camera, maybe? Unlock the door? Am I dreaming? I think I'm dreaming. Tell him he's dreaming. Oh, it's a keypad. I don't. I don't have a. I don't have a keypad uh, hacking device. James Bond would have a keypad hacking device, though. You could bet your bottom dollar on that one. How are we to get in there? Oh, we missed our opportunity to run up the stairs. Or did we? Two guards. Have we got a body box here? Is if there's somewhere to hide them, not quite. Is this going to let us through? Oh, there's a guy just there by himself, though. Let's uh, do a quick save. Run down, take him out, take his clothes. Oh, no, I cancelled the save. I don't, I don't want to cancel the save. I need to save. All right, there we go. All right, now let's take him out and hide his body. All right, disguise as him. Take his gun. Uh, let's probably dump his body first. Oh, that's not a body one. I thought that was a body hole, uh, uh, you know, container. 
Oh, there's a costume in here. It's two blokes, though. Oh, gosh, if they come out, that'll be trouble. Uh, I'm not going to take his gun. I have no intention of shooting the place up. Is that a crowbar? My favorite key in the game. Man, I wonder if I could slip the body in there and bury it without them noticing. I'm going to do a quick save. I'm going to try and put the body in that there box. I expect they should see, in theory, they're like two meters away and I'm doing it just to the left. But it is Hitman and I'm playing on casual. It's possible that they'll uh, go easy on me. All right, here we go. Can we do it? Can we do it? I think we've done it. Body hidden. Perfect. All right. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Let's hope for a back entrance into this bloke's room. I haven't seen a key card drop. There is no way into where that dude is with the wine. I have absolutely no idea. There must be a key card access somewhere. Now, is this, am I on the wrong side or the right side of this? I'm on the right side. Now, they are shortcuts like um, uh, Dark Souls or Demon Souls. It's, it's a cool addition. They've just added this for Hitman 3. Absolutely brilliant addition to the level design. I think it's phenomenal. I really love it. It's, uh, it just it encourages, it's another reason to replay these levels. Not that we're, you know, in desperate need for reasons as it stands, but it's just another reason it's so good. Oh, look, where does this ladder go? Oh, we might sit here. We'll catch this story mission. Dream land? Oh, I'm so not with it. Should we follow this story mission? Accident prone. If the pump malfunctions, the tanks overflow. This oh, okay. Yeah, let's do that then. Yeah. I've got to follow that worker. Okay. We'll follow this mission. This is going to draw him back out. I was going to go for the poisoning thing, but I can't work out how to get into that room. And uh, I don't really just want to burn time on the stream trying to solve that potentially complex issue i'd rather move on to a different story mission so you guys can see some action here now i need to take out this guy and this might be the best chance i get nope whoops mission story failed wow i uh really didn't mean that did i save before i did that i certainly hope there was a save at some point Back then, ooh. Oh, well, we can do that because we didn't discover anything after that point anyway because we were looking for the entrance and we decided uh, there wasn't one. We got back to the start point. So it's fine. We can reload that point. We lose nothing. And I have to follow that worker, not knock him out on the staircase. Uh, all right, where is it? Uh, oh, it was before we even dumped this bloke. Now, that worked so well last time. Let's go with that again. And then we'll follow old mate and uh, work out how to overflow the pumps, bring the target back out. And then maybe that fused other machine that we had, maybe that'll come back into play. Possibly. Uh, where are we here? I'm going to orient myself. Maybe we should go up and over. Maybe we can drop back in. I'm just going to check for one more entry point whether it's above in that room, you know? Oh, look at this meeting room we've uh, stumbled into. This is where they're waiting for the wine. Where's the staircase with the downward pointing arrow? That's the big question. Oh, another shortcut we're unlocking. Gotta love that. I've never unlocked two in one run before. That's a, that is a first for me. 
And I still have no idea how to get in to where that bloke is looking for the other wine. He's still, like he's below me now. How would you even drop down? I guess it's within the house. It's got to be upstairs here somewhere. There must be a downstairs, uh, a downward staircase here somewhere. Oh, he's looking at me. It's behind that bloke who's looking at me. I need to get behind him. I'll save here and I'll just run around him and see if that's uh, if that works. I'm not sure. It's a bit dicey, but we'll give it a crack. We'll give it a crack. Do I have the key? No, and I've got an illegal action anyway. We knew it was dicey going in. That's why we saved. <laughs> they were definitely more useful in the 90s. I agree, short games. All right, uh, James is out here. Thanks for hanging out, James. Thanks for modern, man. Take it easy. I hope you have a better day at school tomorrow, sir. Certainly sounds like you had a rough one today. Not a good way to start the year, mate, but only up from here, surely. The only way is up. All right, now, that bloke doesn't like us, but oh, now I'll try one more time. What I'll do is... Uh, I'll run around the far wall. I'll just see if I can hang around this wall. Is that far enough away from him for the AI not to register? And I might even be able to just pop in that window next to him. Maybe. Oh, I thought I could jump in the window. Oh, no, we can. We might be able to do this. All right, I'll save here. And I'll see if we can just jump in this window and uh, open the door. I've got the crowbar with me. It'll probably trigger him. I don't think this will work, but I will certainly give it a shot. Oh, all right. So what we'll do instead is we'll knock him out first and then we'll work out where to hide his body. Maybe if we knock him out and open the door, there might be a body box on the other side of that door. This might be just fine. This might be just fine. There wasn't a body box. Oh, look, I can even hide him in the room. Even better. Can I switch to his uniform or are we wearing the same uniform? Already wearing that disguise. All right, let's hope the. Uh, I assume there's a maid in a in a in a residence like this. Let's hope the maid doesn't walk in while we're dumping bodies in wardrobes. <laughs> That'd end our precious little field trip pretty quick. All right, now let's see if we can't get down to the Salmariere. Oh, that guy knows I shouldn't be here. We're gonna have to save, and we might try a coin toss. Might be the answer here, I reckon. The old coin toss will lure him. Oh, dear. He's going to come in. I was hoping that was going to go a bit further over. But this will still do the trick. This will still uh, give me the upper hand on a little moment of hand-to-hand -hand hit combat here with him. I was hoping to be in that other corner and I could just walk up behind him, but it's going to be frontal hand-to-hand -hand right about now. <laughs> he had time to say don't kill me that's funny let's uh let's take the coin we might even drag his body up the stairs and uh put him in that cupboard because that'll store two bodies and that'll just save ourselves from being identified there's a there's a significant bonus uh, if you finish the level without having any bodies discovered. Is why I'm so particular and meticulous about trying to achieve it. I really like that score boost. Of course, the higher mastery, the higher you, your experience in the level, the more opportunities you get. You get uh, different starting locations and you get different places throughout the map where you can hide things. Uh, and the different starting locations also come with different costumes, so you can start as like a chef or whatever. Ah, oh, what a disappointment! How disappointing. I thought we were going to get in to see him then. And it's not. It's the... It's. I think it's back down here. Is this... It's back over this way. Ah, here we go. Finally, we found it. All right. No! We're back here. <laughs> oh, come on. Man. All right. We're going <laughs> to... We're going to have to go down and follow old mate with the blueprints and see what happens. It's, uh, I cannot work out how to get in this door to get that bloke. It's, uh, that is a mystery for me to solve off stream, I think, when I can blindly spend an hour just thumping my head on the problem. 
But we learned before, if we climb up this ladder, we'll be in earshot of the starting bit of this, uh, this mission. This will be good. This will take us to the next story mission. Oh, we should see. Is her corpse still there? Uh, oh, James has left. But James, if you ever watch this in the back, I think that's probably her puddle of blood there from the execution earlier. <laughs> oh, it could be grape juice. I guess maybe it's there for the grape juice, but that is indeed where we squashed the first target. Oh, another disconnection. Their servers are really struggling, I think. That's crazy. Like, it's not... It's negatively impacting the game in the sense of it's frustrating me and ripping me out of the experience. But on the whole, I'm not losing anything. I'm just complaining a lot about it. <laughs> All right, we've got to follow this guy and not not knock him out, even if the opportunity presents itself. <laughs> Probably a great time for a save. Saving, confirmed. Moving forward, here we go. All right, what opportunities will this offer us? I already like that um, the safety tape on that handrail down there. It suggests we're going to get to push someone off it and there'll be an accidental death from that height. That's what that tells me. That would be high enough for an accidental death. I believe is what they're indicating. I have no idea whether that's going to come into play, but we believe uh, whatever action we're about to take by completing this here mission story will bring out uh, the other target here, Archibald VIII. Oh, he's I love that this guy isn't suspicious at all that suddenly a guard's just following him around on his uh, chores. Look at this. Look at that puddle. I think that's the puddle of our first target. I cannot quite make out what they're saying. Oh, little tip for anybody. If you're playing Hitman 3 and you're struggling to hear without a weapon or anything equipped, you can pull the left trigger and you zoom in and the audio is enhanced a little bit in the zooming direction. If you're struggling, it can help. Now I disguise myself as that worker. All right, well, we need to draw him off to somewhere where there's a body bag or body bin. You know what I'm saying. He might be walking towards one. Is there one over here somewhere? We could leave a body down here. It's unlikely someone's going to walk around here. Maybe I should just flick a coin out. I don't know. Oh, if he's, he saw me do that, that was pointless. All right, now he's coming around to check on it. And the guard hopefully is going to hold his position. The guards are holding their position now, so I will be able to take out this worker. The only question is where I'm going to put his body. If there was somewhere up these stairs here, that would be ideal. Oh, don't unlock that while the worker's coming behind me. That will be bad. All right, here we go. I'm going to leave him at the base of this ladder. I hate leaving the body out. As I said, I'm trying to get the runs without any bodies discovered. That's what I'm aiming for. But um, I think in this situation, I'm going to be lucky just to... Here we go. Pick up the coin. Was there a f something else to be picked up? No? Oh, I hope that body doesn't get seen. I've got to find a screwdriver. I'll do a quick save, and then I'm going to break that lock and just see... Uh, what room we're into. What are we looking for? A screwdriver. So, I mean, I think the cinema's under construction. I had the key, so that's perfect. Now, if this is under construction, maybe there's a screwdriver. Well, we've got a banana. We might be able to make somebody slip over. Screwdriver. Body box. I'm not seeing a screwdriver, though. It'll be a you know, really fine, small, white line somewhere. In the front, is there? It's a gas cylinder. Oh, up there. There it is. There it is. We found it. Our goal 
propane tank. Got no idea what we might use that for, but we'll take it with us for a walk. You never know your luck. What? Sorry, I've just read the chat and Charlie's saying that the new Need for Speed is only on the PS5. Wow, are you saying only on the PS5 as in not on the PS4? Or are you saying only on the PS5 as in exclusive to PlayStation now? Because that would be a change. And I thought EA were getting into bed with um, Microsoft, you know, like the pass, the uh, EA Game Pass is part of the Microsoft Game Pass now. I thought they were all friendly, chummy, chummy. So I'd be very surprised to hear Need for Speed being exclusive, exclusive to PlayStation. Please correct me if I'm wrong on that one, Charlie. That's uh, surprising, if nothing else. Find a wrench now. Oh, come on. Is that a wrench? That looks very wrenchy. Let's drop the propane tank around the corner. Now we're going to have to be real quick here. Unless we can distract that guy. Quick save. I'll try flicking a coin over his head. I think I'm going to be too far in front of him. I think it'll register like he will acknowledge that he saw me throw it by a, a witty line of dialogue, no doubt. Oh, there he goes. That worked. All right. It worked. We're fine. Can we vault over that with no one looking? Oh, we already did the fuse part of this puzzle. All right. Coin. One coin. Turn old mate there over there somewhere. Go have a look at that, buddy. Man, that fuse thing came back to play. Oh, is he going to come back to his spot and spot me? Quick, go, go, go. Oh, dear. Now we've done it. I wonder if I'd be better off dressed as a security guard for this. I'm thinking this security guard outfit back here is going to be a better fit for this next part of the mission. Oh dear. Oh no. We mass executed all the guards. Wow. Is that guy going to die as well? Is that guy going to walk down and get electrocuted? Because if he is, I'll just leave the mess because the target will probably end up being electrocuted by the same thing. Can I be maybe wherever that fuse is and flick it on command? Is that... Uh, that's the wine guy. I wonder if I can stand over here and when the target comes down, can I flick this again? Oh, I've got to find another fuse. Damn. That'd be funny if I could find another fuse and electrocute him in a puddle of his own. Um... Pick up the toolbox, conceal an item. I want to take him out in his own wine is the point, but I need a fuse. Oh, he hasn't even left his... Uh... He hasn't left his upstairs meeting. Oh, he's a fuse, though. Got a fuse. So, oh, was that another key? I don't think we're going to need it. Oh, I'll save. I'll save and I'll go for that key. I think there was a key on that bench. I could be wrong. The control terminal is up in the security room. If you want to take a look, just don't. Thanks, guys. Pay no attention to me swiping the stuff. All right. Now, I reckon if I am standing by down here with a replacement fuse, I'll be able to electrocute the target when he comes in. I think I'll be able to insert the cell and then flick the switch. But this all hinges on him coming out of his meeting and he doesn't look like he's leaving that meeting space. Way too many bodies found. It's an absolute bloodbath, a debacle of a mission. I wonder if all those deaths have put him on lockdown. Maybe he won't come and investigate now. Do we have... I'll check for a mission story. Uh, ventilation system. Upstairs security room. I can kick him out. Hmm. 
the wine fridge. Man, I'm surprised we still have these. Oh, we're on Intel, not Mission Stories. What a goose. What an absolute goose. All right. This closing statement, this is the last one we can do. Now, is this, this is the one where I've got to get, um, I've got to get old, mate. Man, I can't believe that electrocution got so bungled. It was setting up so well, and then I bungled it at the end. And that hasn't even allowed us to get in here. Part of me wants to shoot that glass just to see if that'll work. I wonder if knocking out one of these guys will get me the key, maybe. Or did I possibly get the key already? There must be more information. There must be more information on this mission story. Just says to deliver it as the Asol Molieri, but I can't work out how to get in there. Ah, oh, what's this drop down do? How did I not see the drop down previously? Now, is there, is there a vent or a grate? Yeah, look at this. All right. Uh, how do I unlock the vent? Screwdriver? Is that going to set off an alarm? Should I possibly have saved? Nope. We got there. All right, now is there somewhere to hide bodies down here? I've got to dress up as that guy. Uh, we need a coin. We need a coin. More than you would write a shopping list on the Mona Lisa. Huh? Oh, I desperately need to save is what I need to do. I wish I had a save before I flicked that coin. I've kind of kicked it in motion now. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Sean Games, yes, I absolutely would watch a Scully and Hitchcock spin-off show. Those guys are hilarious. That was a great episode. Yes, I definitely would watch that, man. Oh, thank you, James. Yes, exactly. Only doing it on PlayStation 5. Wow. I am uh, truly surprised that they have locked up Need for Speed as an exclusive. That is huge news. All right, please tell me there's somewhere to hide these bodies. Oh, I can probably kick them back down the uh, hole that I crawled up in, surely. No one's going to look in those vents for them. Can I put a body down there, dump it? Yes, I can dump it, but it doesn't say that they'll be eliminated. Perfect. All right. Now I need to disguise myself as this bloke, and then I'll kick his body down on top of the other bloke. And then we can do, oh, I don't think we have any poison yet. All this was assuming I was, uh, I was going to have poison for the wine and not poison Diana, but it's asking me to disable the lasers now and I'm not sure if I know how to do that. Push by, oh, a code. It's a vintage year. Is it the year I'm looking for? Vintage year. What do we have in Intel that suggests a vintage year? Quickly scanning for a year in a description. Oh, uh, uh, wait, how do we, there we go. Mission stories. Here we go. Year. Is there something about a year? 1945. 1945. Nailed it. All right. Now we need some poison. We still need some poison. Where is the poison? Man, I would love to have some poison. That would be a real plus. I might just quickly check over here. Was uh, There was a bit machinery and a bit shelvy. I'm hoping maybe there was some poison here I just missed. Maybe not, though. Maybe not. Maybe in that big pile of corpses in the middle of the other room where I accidentally did a mass execution. Uh, maybe somewhere over there. There's another key. No poison, though. We need the rat sack. Or we need the, uh, the, what do you call it? The medicine cabinet that usually has the bottle of pills in it. Oh, staff room. We might even get a 
pill bottle here. What do we got? Pick up something else. Conceal something. Poison. What we want, guys, is poison. Not an axe. Poison in here, maybe? Not sure why you'd have a poison kept in your locker, but maybe. Well, I think we've investigated pretty clearly. We, no poison's turned up, so we'll move on to the next mission marker. We'll uh, keep this thing moving. Where has he gone? Oh, he's back over that way. I think we've got enough hobby knives. I think we're already carrying two. And I've never used one. Oh, the camera's off. I'll get it. The camera should be coming back. <clears throat> hey, Marco. Welcome back, sir. Oh, played Smiles for Morales on PS4. Did you love it? Was it awesome? I bet it was awesome. I know I had fun with it. I just feel like I should have poisoned the wine before I'm approaching this guy. It feels Over here. like a missed opportunity. Sir, I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> Come on, flowers. Guests are waiting. Crazy. Yeah, Marco loves it. It was cool. It's a very cool game. I loved it. So good. Go on, get yourself padded down. We're still on alert. All right, padded down. Am I carrying an illegal item? I am. Let's uh, let's just tuck an illegal item. Uh, let's tuck our illegal items down the stairs here. I think. Once again, uh, if they find a weapon in the game... Oh, actually, now I'm not sure. I was about to say if they find a weapon on the ground in the game, you lose points at the end of the mission. But now that I've said that, I don't think that's correct. I think that's just me being um, very meticulous when I play, I think is the extent of that requirement. All right, let's get patted down. Yeah, keep it real. Man, if you want to pass, I need to look through your pockets. Go for it, my friend. Look through my pockets. They are there for your look. You like that spice stuff, senor? Like Bond and Mission Impossible. <laughs> They're even cult referencing James Bond. That's funny. Oh, I wish we had some poison. Oh, we've been down there. We know there's no poison down there. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. <laughs> Don't discuss, disclose, or hell, even contemplate this was down. Just set your mind to wool gathering mode. You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Sure thing. Don't worry not, Mr. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. <laughs> <laughs> Hitman 47, that sure is. Man, part of me wants to just knock this bloke out. Subdue him, because I don't think anyone can see us here. Oh. Uh, I sh I'm not going to do that, but I will save. I will certainly save to avoid any unpleasantness. They're already at it. Go on, place the wine on the table. I'll I will. Pardon me. I have always Gosh, I wish there was some poison. Oh, man. I feel like I'm missing this opportunity by not having the poison in the wine already. Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This, 1945. <laughs> How is Diana not sitting there smirking at me? <laughs> In fact, why aren't any of the NPCs looking at me? Why are they all looking at him? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Unicorn wine. The year was hot. Wines super concentrated, and thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. 
only 300 now i didn't unfortunately get a chance to poison it already but i wonder if diana will see that agent 47 has stepped in and then not drink the wine gonna keep a close eye on her see if she maybe tips it out next to her or just doesn't drink it at all But if you had put the rat poison in there, you'd have a case where, what, seven NPCs were running to the toilet at once? Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. Okay, then. This stick around, I shall. This was gifted to me by the Ark Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its... Do people really talk like this? Is there really a class of society where people carry on like this? Or is it only from fiction, like zombies? Is, is this occasion as fictitious as zombies? is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, yes, here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend, Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood. And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence. Oh, yeah, where's the other lady that I've already killed? Shouldn't she have a position at this table? Oh, it was probably next to Diana. Does that sound like loyalty? He's got absolutely right. Yes. Does Diana not even have a glass in front of her? Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outpost. I dare say I am in the lead. Dawn. What the hell? You're lying, of course. Which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into He's right on that count. Heralds, sworn to protect Providence against she is bringing about his end. Inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work. But you have to decide now, my friends. I'm ready to decide. No, absolutely not. Yes. 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 I know you mean. Well, who's your second choice? Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Not Diana! Oh, he's gonna cop it! Right. Go. That's completely unnecessary. Warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. Don't warn him, Diana. He's already dead. He's already dead man walking. Nobody hits Diana and gets away with it. That guard's got to come in. I haven't killed any guards. Well, there was the accidental mass murder of several guards earlier with electrocution. That was unintentional. I have not intentionally hurt any guards, but that guard's got it. Agent 47. Revenge for her changing sides. This is what you will all attest to. Yes. Yes. I wish I had a poisoned his wine. Yeah. A toast then. In her honor, savor the taste because you never remember hey, flowers. Hey. And let me you never you. saw a thing. We are in oh, oh, I saw it, buddy. Don't you worry about that. Here's to loyalty. Oh, wow. That dude's totally by himself next to a body bin. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not a body bin. No, it is. It is. Let's drag him in there. That timed out beautifully. Lucky we opened that shortcut earlier. I think if we had have spent the time unlocking that door then, we totally would have missed our target. And we've cleared out old mate from the foyer here. Helping ourselves to no end in advance. Took you long enough. Hey, Diana. Clear the floor and get yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long. The guard outfit I'm already in or the floor I already cleared? Top floor guards. There's no one in here. Who is she referring to? Does she mean everyone on the ground level? Or that guy, I guess, specifically. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll take him out. I'll hit save. This has gotten very intense all of a sudden. I feel the uh, 
I feel the, the time pressure. Oh, they've taken the clock off. <laughs> Indeed, sir. Whatever he just said, I believe it ended in murder. Oh, there's already two bodies in there. So I, oh, don't disconnect me. Don't disconnect me. Oh, look at that. Is that... Oh, it's an umbrella. I honestly thought that was a broadsword for a second. Now, let's hope I can get this body upstairs without being interrupted by anybody. Man, so fortuitous the way we crossed through there a couple of times already and just happened to clear out the guards in the area. That's so lucky. Or is it incredibly good level design? Probably incredibly good level design. More than anything. Don't mind me, Diana, just uh, cleaning up the mess. Good. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, Fortune. <laughs> Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. <laughs> when I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. Woot! Gotta love that! This is great! Oh, this is phenomenal... Hitman storytelling. The, the story is like off the wall, like old school action movie. Like for the three games, the whole three game arc has been, you know, 80s action flip, 80s action flick level scripting and like a little bit corny and a little bit cheesy. Uh, and, and that's all between the levels. And then during the levels, it's all very straight laced and sandboxy. I mean, there yes, there's some ridiculous stuff you can do but um this is the first time that really goofy narrative has really been in the level itself this is phenomenal Miss Birdwood, you rolled out the red carpet just for me don you shouldn't have so confident even in defeat i suppose you're not used to danger always safe behind your screens just tell me one thing before we part ways can i drop the chandelier on him I'm so dropping... Oh, is that chandelier over the other guard? I get up four times to piss as it is. Oh, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on... <laughs> and it's beating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal. Yes. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah. I'm all ears. Oh, Diana out of nowhere with the blade. Uh, now, give me something non lethal. There we go. That's how Hitman does it. Boom, boom. Now, let's stuff him in the incinerator. Make it my mission to tear down Providence brick by brick. Finish it. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, I don't have a science pistol. All right, assault rifle it is. Tell me I can dump this body down that uh, chute there. Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. Oh, missing the propane tank. We have a propane tank somewhere. Oh, and dress appropriately. Are we going to tango with Diana? This is amazing. If this ends with tangoing with Diana, um, you know, um, true, what is that, true lies, the Arnold Schwarzenegger film, what, like 94, 94, 92, 94, somewhere right around there. I love that film. I love that tango scene. And if they are about to put that scene in this game... The, the, I will give it a 10 for that. If they have put that tango dance scene in this, oh, my gosh. They'll have made me one very happy Hitman fan. Oh, 
Oh, look, he's not looking too good there with the side of his head missing. All right. We can probably just leave that gun there. In fact, we'll take the coin. We'll drop our assault rifle and uh, let's get out of here. Let's go hopefully dance with Diana. I can't believe this. This is amazing. Now, where did I leave my original outfit? Where did I leave my original outfit? My original outfit. Where would I have left it? Who was the first person we took out of the top of the stream? How am I blanking on this? Uh, oh, that guy knows who I am. Let's get out of his line of sight. Oh, disguise yourself. There's a disguise upstairs. Apparently there is a specific disguise I didn't realize, but I was ultimately just going for the dance floor. It's a specific disguise upstairs, is it? Wasn't the bloke we just killed and stuffed into the wardrobe, was it? Oh! Look at this! Fantastic! The original suit! The original suit! That is awesome! That is really cool. All right, now let's go find Diana and relive the uh, dance scene. I did hear that right, didn't I? She did invite us to join her on the dance floor. I haven't. I hope I haven't made that up. I'm expecting a dance with Diana now. Where is the? Uh... Oh gosh. We don't want to be spotted. We should probably do a save here. I'm pretty sure at the start, the house was up at the hill on the left and then the vineyard was down at the right, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this, I so hope this is... If this is the... Uh, I keep wanting to say true romance. If this, if this is the true lies uh, ending, this would be amazing. And another shortcut. Three shortcuts in one run. Two was a record. Smashing records left, right, and center here. I love this. Now, please, Diana on the dance floor. Please. I hope this is a real thing. If I invented that, I will be shattered. This is so going to be a thing. A dance with Diana. A tango with Diana. This would be amazing. Please, please, Hitman developers, give this mission the perfect ending. Yes! Yes! They've delivered! A reminder before we get into this cinematic, this stream's available 4K, 60 frames a second. Tango with Diana! This is perfect! Oh, this is great. Please do some references to True Lies. Strike at the heart. Edwards. What a phenomenal ending, don't you? Why Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the olive grove at sunset. One oh, the tango. olive grove at sunset. That is phenomenal. My hat is off to IO Interactive. This game is a masterpiece. This is, it's a 10. Hitman 3 is a 10. This game is phenomenal. If you at all enjoy stealth, at all, get this game. This is phenomenal. There's so much replayability. Like, we just played the bejesus out of that level for a good hour and 20 minutes and not even half of the activities. Like, that... That's got at least four more replays in it to get all those. At least four, probably more like six or eight. That's, uh, oh, an hour and three. Look at that. That's phenomenal. That is, that, is a, that is a masterclass in gameplay. Just interaction leading into interaction and then a seemingly unknown thing, like I clear one guard and just randomly and then later on in the level it comes back in and it helped me out big time. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal.
Play this game, people. Play this game. That is phenomenal. <gasps> Should we watch the cutscene? No, wait. I think uh, we'll watch the cutscene. I don't think we get in trouble. I, I looked it up. I've seen plenty of these cutscenes on YouTube. I originally thought uh, there might have been trouble for putting their cutscenes on, but I've, people seem to be doing it. I, I think we'll be okay. Phenomenal. Oh, don't shoot Diana, Hitman. You're what? That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? <gasps> I think you know. No! I'm sorry. <laughs> no! What have you done? Eat the brand's neurotoxin. Transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. No! Diana! My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. What? Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. Oh. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye. No! Agent. Diana, what have you done? <laughs> After all the good times we had. <laughs> what the heck? I'm not sure they should put up mission accomplished after that kind of bombshell. Well, there goes my brain. I am now noodled. Oh, wow. Crazy. Um, that was awesome. I had an absolute blast. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Uh, Charlie in the chat. You're the man, Charlie. Thank you, sir. Number one. I love it. Um, uh, who else? We had everyone in there. Gaming Raptor, uh, James. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm blanking on the other name. Sorry. Hitman. It was too... What did Diana do? I can't believe Diana turned on us. We tangoed with her. Wow. I can't believe it. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, this is youtube.com slash geek loud. We do live let's plays Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sunday night, 8 p.m. Australian Eastern. Uh, like it, subscribe it, you'll never miss it. Oh! oh so <laughs> Finally! Yes! Avengers, assemble! He's trying to sweep up leaves in this world. And another one! <laughs>